Let's take a look at collaborating on the 3D Experience platform and the many different ways to get your entire company connected to the information they need. The first thing we need to discuss is what is a platform? Facebook, Amazon, YouTube, Netflix, Google Docs. They're all widely used platforms that users are comfortable with. Some of them are even considered collaborative platforms like Google Docs. And they all run in a web browser, exactly like the 3D Experience platform. And here is the 3D Experience platform. Directly in a web browser is just one way you can access the 3D Experience platform. While this is extremely convenient for anyone in your company to access anywhere on any device, you'll see in a bit that SOLIDWORKS CAD users can access most of the cloud tools directly inside their SOLIDWORKS task pane. The 3D Experience platform offers one central, secure, connected location for your apps, one subscription, no IT, no server required, no VPN to get to your data or apps, and a high level of communication within the cloud. The 3D Experience platform gets your company connected by providing the tools to bring everyone in the product development process together. It is a web-based system of apps that allows users to collaborate, manage, and design anywhere at any time on any device. Design communities allow users to collaborate on design projects, share ideas, and always be up to date. Project management tools allow users to streamline their design process with tasks that keep everyone on target. Although some of you already use SOLIDWORKS Desktop today, there are additional design tools that will allow you to work from anywhere on virtually any device through the convenience of your web browser. You also have access to powerful simulation tools that leverage cloud computing to validate your designs, as well as cloud rendering and cloud cam tools. There is a very tight integration with Desktop SOLIDWORKS, allowing you to bring back work done in the cloud to your desktop and vice versa. Which of course means you can still take advantage of all of the tools that SOLIDWORKS offers today, such as locally installed simulation tools, CAM, inspection, and more. Let's talk about data management on the cloud. Whether you work in a large organization or just a small team, no doubt, you're concerned with storing, managing, and collaborating on your design data. This can get tricky because SOLIDWORKS parts, assemblies, drawings, and other supporting documents need to remain linked. Most third-party consumer cloud storage apps don't know how to handle this. And maybe you've looked at SOLIDWORKS PDM and Manage and decided investing in them isn't right for you. There is another way. When you connect SOLIDWORKS to the 3D Experience platform, cloud data management is just a few clicks away. Eric the engineer and Debbie designer are part of the team working on the Nemo submersible submarine. They're on a tight deadline to finish up the hatch design. Let's see how they are able to safely store their data, manage changes, and design concurrently without ever leaving their SOLIDWORKS environment. Eric is putting the finishing touches on the latch mount by inserting fasteners from SOLIDWORKS toolbox. He also checks the assembly drawing to make sure everything is up to date and ready to save to the cloud to share with his coworkers. Logging into the 3D Experience platform takes him to his team's secure connection to the cloud. Right from the task pane, he sees the status of his work. These indicators show which components need to be saved or if someone else is working on some of the components. As for the hardware and other standard parts, SOLIDWORKS is configured to automatically catalog and release these items. So all users can access their shared libraries online. The save dialog shows exactly which items require an update. Only the new or changed items need to be uploaded to the cloud. This makes efficient use of internet bandwidth, but still ensures everything is up to date. As the leader of his team, Eric is able to release his own designs. Easy to use lifecycle operations like this helps the team avoid accidental overwrites. Eric sets the related part and assembly drawings to released. Safe and secure cloud storage of your SOLIDWORKS data is easy when you connect to the 3D Experience platform. And there's little to no setup required, so you can use it right away. As the Nemo sub design evolves, the team must respond to change orders quickly. Let's see how Debbie takes advantage of cloud data management to create a new revision to the latch hand wheel. After Debbie logs into her session, she sees a message from Eric requesting a change. A quick search for wheel shows several results. She can use a viewer tool right in the task pane to see if this is the right file. All the property data is there, as well as a comment thread. 
Eric wants a racing-inspired hand wheel. Debbie can do some markup of her thoughts on the design right in the SOLIDWORKS task pane, and she can share this with Eric to get feedback. But before she makes any changes, it's best to do a where used search. The hand wheel is used in a subassembly within the master hatch assembly. She can open that assembly right into her SOLIDWORKS session and get to work. Debbie sees that this version of the subassembly is released. In order to make changes, Debbie needs to create a revision of the assembly and the hand wheel. These status indicators immediately show that the current assembly structure is out of date, so she replaces it with the new revisions and sets them to locked. Locking these files gives Debbie write access to the items she needs, without restricting other users from the rest of the assembly. The redesigned hand wheel looks great, and so Debbie will update the drawing. After the drawing is in sync with the part model, she'll save it to revision B, and then set the part and drawing to a frozen state, so they can be reviewed and approved. Returning to the higher level assembly, Debbie finishes out the design by adding the latch mechanisms and saves the new revision back to the cloud. Easy to use data management and lifecycle functions are built in to help you control revisions and user access rights. And you can be sure your design data is always up to date and accessible. In order to meet their tight deadline, the NEMO submarine team often needs to work on the same design files at the same time. Eric is working on a new revision of the master hatch assembly. The icons let him know Debbie has the hand wheel assembly reserved and is currently making changes. He can reserve the top level assembly without affecting Debbie's work on the subassembly. This approach to access control allows users to design concurrently without accidentally saving over each other's progress. A short time later, Eric sees in a notification that Debbie has finished. He just needs to reload the latest version of the subassembly from the server. Taking a look at the handwheel drawing, he likes her redesign and moves it to released. Back in the assembly, Eric attaches the connecting rod mechanisms and then goes to update the drawing. Bumping the assembly and the drawing to revision B, he's ready to save the changes up to the platform. Cloud data management is built for concurrent design. You'll avoid sharing conflicts and accidental overwrites, so your team can complete their designs faster. Out-of-the-box cloud data management enabled the Nemo team to be productive right away. They were able to safely store their data, manage changes, and design concurrently, all without ever leaving their familiar SOLIDWORKS design environment. Everyone in the organization benefits when you connect SOLIDWORKS to the 3D Experience platform. Next, let's take a look at how a user without desktop SOLIDWORKS would access the same data on the platform through a web browser and some of the common things they might want to do with that data. In the web interface for the 3D Experience platform, users have access to all the powerful search tools to help them find the data they need. This is accessed from the blue bar at the top of the screen. Searching by file name, part number, customer, project name, or whatever you would like to use gets you a list of results from the entire platform in seconds. The results can then be filtered down using tags, shown on the left side here, to narrow in on exactly what you're trying to find. Tags are categorized by what, who, when, where, and many more options. Information about any of the results is just a click away, showing any mapped properties of the file, comments users may have added to the file, and all of the where used information, including any attachments of non-CAD files like PDFs, images, Microsoft documents, and more. Minimizing the results to the right side of the screen then makes it easy to drag and drop any content you would like to explore into any of the widgets you have on your dashboard, such as 3D Play, 3D Markup, or Collaborative Lifecycle. From the Search drop-down menu, your last search results can be easily recalled, as well as the ability to search on the current page, save favorite searches, or just look for your content. 
Bookmarks are links to data, and you can organize bookmarks however you like. But the extra tools included in Bookmark Editor make it one of the most versatile tools on the 3D Experience platform. Bookmarks can be created for CAD files and any other data you manage. This includes simulations, documents, templates, images, issues, and more. Anything that you use in your product lifecycle. Inside Bookmark Editor, you can upload, share, manage, revise, duplicate, and delete data. Bookmark Editor is one of the places you can lock data to prevent others from making changes to it until you've finished working with it. Here, you can change who owns the data and what database it's saved within. And Bookmark Editor gives you access to data properties and to explore references between a piece of data and everything else it's connected to. You can open or drag and drop data into various apps right from the Bookmark Editor. Three D Play is an app that lets you visualize data on the Three D Experience platform. With Three D Play, you can view three D CAD models, look at drawings, read PDFs, view images, review simulation results, and more. All can be done in a browser with the Three D Play widget. You can zoom, rotate, create section views, and explode views of assemblies without any need to create them in your CAD authoring software. And 3D Play lets you create quick markups that you can share through images, which could be emailed or posted to your community message board. External users can use 3D Play for free to preview, markup, and download content that you share with them. Communities allow users on the platform to collaborate and communicate with each other on designs and stay connected to each other all through the design process. An unlimited number of communities can be created based on customer, project, or however you would like to organize them. Individual users or groups of users can then be invited to a particular community to collaborate. If we go to the community that the 3D Play image was posted to, we can open it and even provide feedback. 3D models, images, markups, and many other types of files can be attached to a community post. Members of the community not only have the ability to submit a general post like this one, but also ideas, questions, and surveys. Individual conversations can be had between members, and there is even tools for video calls. All of the functionality in communities is great for design reviews and keeping all the members of a project involved throughout the development process. Like 3D Play, 3D Markup is useful for visualizing and communicating about data. But what sets it apart is that 3D Markup creates a piece of searchable, managed data on the 3D Experience platform. It's more than just an image. The markup that's created is connected to the data it's visualizing, making it easy to find one from the other. And there are more tools for viewing, isolating models, and making notes. Multiple slides can be created to truly communicate in-depth information. What's more, issues and change actions can be created directly from the markup, making logical next steps quick and easy. Collaborative tasks are available to all users on the platform to assign to themselves, or to other people in the organization. When a task is created, the maturity state, estimated finish date, and expected number of hours or days can be established. Another great feature is that 3D models and even non-CAD files can be attached to a task so that there is no confusion about what needs to be addressed. Then users can be assigned to the task to get it underway. When a user has a task assigned to them, they receive a notification directly in the platform. Clicking on the notification will take them right to the task and they can get started by moving the task to in work. It is easy to access the attached model or any other attached documents in the task 
and open them up in 3D Play or any other app that you need to complete the job. After the task is complete, the user moves the task to completed and everyone involved will see the update. Tasks are a great way to keep the project on schedule and get others involved in the design process as needed. With Compare, you can visualize the differences between two sets of data. You can compare revisions of a single component or an entire assembly. Or you can compare entirely different components. For an assembly, we can see the full structure and filter out components to get a clearer view of the differences between them. For example, all the identical items can be hidden, leaving only what's changed between revisions. Product Structure Explorer is an app that will let you examine the parts list for any assembly on the platform. Subassemblies can be expanded to see the entire product structure all in one screen. If any drawings exist for the parts, or if any non-CAD files like PDFs, images, or other related content has been attached, they would be listed here in the structure as well, and could be previewed and opened. Not only do you see all of the parts in this assembly, but there is visual feedback as well. Each file has a nice thumbnail graphic right next to the parts line item. But there is also a navigation tool on the right side that will cross highlight to show you where that part is in the assembly. There's a tool you can use to find a particular file you may be looking for in the list and focus in on it. Then of course, you can have the navigation window zoom right in on that part and even hide others to see what you need more clearly. You of course have access to all of the important information about any of the listed files. All of this directly in a web browser on any device at any time. You've just seen many of the powerful tools available to users on the 3D Experience platform all accessible from anywhere on any device, all through a web browser. There are of course many more roles and apps to explore on the platform for each of your individual team members. For more information, be sure to contact your Go Engineer sales rep. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and leave us a comment below if you have a topic you'd like us to cover in a future video. Visit our website, GoEngineer.com, for access to professional training, upcoming events, and more from your number one online technical resource.